hi my dear student today's topic is very important topics are a structure of the sun and solar chemistry which are very important for set slate net and all public service commission examinations let we start the glowing surface of the sun which we see or the visible part of the sun surface is called photosphere above the photosphere is the chromosphere so called because of its reddish color the reddish color being due to emission by hydrogen is the most important component of the chromosphere the different chemical elements make up the chromosphere are observed to different heights the highest one up to 14000 km is ionized calcium although it is heavier than hydrogen beyond this layer chromosphere is the magnificent corona of the sun which is visible during eclipses only as a remarkable silverly uh, purely radiant glow around the sun the inner part of the corona which is the brightest gives a continuous spectrum on which there are superimposed bright lines between the chromosphere and corona a spectroscopic investigation have identified a distinct very narrow boundary jo known as the transition region look at the picture what is given here there are three inner zone and three outer zone between the chromosphere and the corona a spectroscopic investigations have identified a distinct very narrow boundary zone known as the transition region the temperature of the photosphere is about 6000 degree celsius that of the chromosphere about 32400 degree celsius that of the transition region about 3 lakh 24000 degree celsius and that of the corona which extends far into a space about 27 lakh celsius hot enough to emit x ray the density of the gas in each layer decreases with increasing altitude just as the earth atmosphere thin with height the corona accordingly is the least dense of the sun's layer it is sometimes said for sort that 6000 degree celsius is the temperature of the sun although the temperature and density of the gases of the sun vary with depth at the core of the sun where thermonuclear reactions take place the temperature level is around 15 million degrees kelvin the density of the core is estimated at a 100 times that of water outside the core is the convection zone here like the boiling water in a kettle turbulent motions of gases transport the energy that is generated in the core towards the photosphere the visible white light of the corona is made up of a continuum of uh, color such as violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red superimposed on this continuum are hundred of dark lines called the fraunhofer lines this is very important students learn it each line indicates some element present in the solar atmosphere the intensity 
and width of the lines reveal the temperature and density of the element. And second important discussion should be on solar chemistry. Now, student, look at the chart of solar chemistry. Elements uh, percent uh, by volume and uh, percent number of atoms. Three important parts are given under solar chemistry. Elements are uh, hydrogen, helium, oxygen, magnesium, nitrogen, silicon, carbon and iron. Hydrogen percent by volume is 81.760, while percent number of atoms are 90.7, helium 18.170, while percent number of atoms are 9.1 oxygen 0 0.03 while percent number of atoms are 0 0.09 magnesium is 0 0.02 while number of atoms are not given here nitrogen 0 0.01 while percent number of atoms are 0 0.01, silicon, carbon and iron are respectively 0 0.006, 0 0.003. Actually these three are negligible and these are not important for your examination, but uh, I have given here. So, you have to concentrate only hydrogen, helium, oxygen and magne magnesium. Thank you my dear students, thank you very much.